Hey, what's up fam? Today I'll be doing an unboxing in a parking lot. First time ever, <laughs> I think. But yeah, sometimes you gotta get unlucky before you can get lucky. And the unlucky part for me is that my last fishing trip when I went trout fishing, I had a leak in my neoprene waders and it was quite cold. I mean, come on guys, December in PA, woo, those water was freaking frigid. But uh, you know what? I toughed it out. I put myself on some wild trout for the first time and I was able to get my brother on some trout as well. So it was a win-win. But uh, like I said, it was unfortunate that my waders had a leak. But fortunately, I guess uh, being a YouTuber has its benefits. Uh, I get a lot of business inquiries. I got a request from Bass Dash. Bass Dash, geez. Uh, tongue twister right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there are a Amazon brand that they have apparel and also waiters. So they sent me a free set of waiters to do an unboxing. And then of course I will test it. I definitely will use it for trout fishing. Probably some uh, snakehead fish in early season. That's like in April-ish timeframe, but definitely more and more, more trout fishing. And yeah, so you guys definitely want to check this video out for the unboxing review. And then we will do another review sometime in 2021. But anyway guys, happy holiday season. Let's get to the unboxing. All right. Whew, that's a big box. But yeah, Amazon makes everything nice and easy. I got a size eight, by the way, this Bass Dash neoprene boot waders. All right, they're neoprene. And look, it's a box within a box. All right, so, so far we know that everything's packed nice and well. Ugh, come on, double boxed. Look at that. Bash, bass dash. I keep saying bash, like you want to bash something. But bam, look at that. Out of the box, looks like this, nicely wrapped. All right. By the way, I'm using my GoPro Hero 9 Black. I have uh, all the stuff on, all the goodies on to make it not shake like crazy. So I'm doing my first unboxing via on my chest cam. But anyway, here we go. All right, look at this baddie. In fact, I gotta lay it out and then I'll show you guys how it looks like. But bam, look at that, that is Pretty nice. So yeah, this is their Bear Camel Neoprene Waders. I believe it's 4.3 millimeters thick. There it goes, it says it right here. Okay, naturally insulating stretch neoprene upper. Uh, this polyester layered somewhere for durability. Ooh, the Thinsulate, the boots is 600 grams. In fact, I bought my old one just to see and feel the difference. So this is a 600G 3M Thinsulate insulation. That is pretty thick stuff. So even in the water, right, with all the pressure, it's not gonna squeeze your feet together and you know cut off some circulation. I do have my old redhead from um, Bass Pro Shop Cabela's. So I'm gonna put them side by side for you guys, kind of take a look. But oh yeah, I'm squeezing the one on the right the 200 gram, okay, versus the 600. Definitely easier to squeeze on the right one than the left one. So yeah, definitely a lot thicker. Uh, a lot of similarities you can see here. Obviously you have this uh, kick rim in the back so you guys can remove the boots very easily. Um, I'm looking at the bottom. Both of them are size eight, by the way. And yeah, they look pretty, pretty similar. But as you see, mine is pretty worn out since, uh, since I used it for a while, but they have reinforced toes, reinforced heels. All right, let me throw this thing back in the trunk. So now let's go out the boot for a second. Let's take a look. There's some reinforced knee pad right here. Look at that. This patch goes around. By the way, these are all um, glued, stitched, and taped for any of, uh, any of the seams. Okay, so I love the design. I mean, look at this camel. They call it the... Dissolve camouflage. Okay, okay, but yeah, for any hunters, this is probably a very good uh, <laughs> digi camel. Very fashionable, at least. Uh, does it say anything crazy here? No, it does not. All right, let's check out the pockets for a second. Velcro on top. Oh yeah, I can put my cell phone, put some lures up in here. Very uh, nicely um, 
secured because the, the flap and the Velcro. My other one has just a Velcro. And I remember sometimes when I bend over, uh, stuff shoots up even through the Velcro. So uh, no bueno there. You have your hand warmer pockets right there. Uh, your shells, if you guys are hunting, I guess you can put your shells right there. Pretty cool looking. Uh, there's a hole right there. So does anything fall through? Actually, it this goes into, okay, this goes to the hand side pocket. There's a hole here. So that hole doesn't go into here. So if you guys want anything that doesn't fall out, you definitely want to put it in the main uh, with the flap, the main pocket with the flap. You got some large D-rings in the front, which is really important for many people, for many things. Uh, let's check the back for a second. Okay, so there isn't a D-ring on the back. I like to have a D-ring on the back because I am a fisherman, right? And I like to put the, the clip-on net in the back, but it's okay. I can always clip on somewhere else. I don't really like clipping on the front. One thing I know is that they don't have a belt here. All right, so this does come with a belt. Came in the bag right there, so I would have to put the belt on for this guy. So here we go. I definitely want to look at right here. All right, cool beans. Yeah, this is freaking full size waders, man. Freaking tall. This thing might be bigger than my old one. So let me just lay my other one down. All right, guys. So here's a quick comparison between uh, the redhead and the bass dash one. You can see that this one's up just a little bit more, just a tad bit. But let me put that on and readjust and see how well it fits me. All right, guys, so this is it, man. Check that out. Hopefully the mic is okay using the, I uh, dropped my sunglasses. Good thing it's not scratched. But yeah, guys, this is how it looks on me. Check that out. All right. One thing I want to say when I was putting this on, I found out two things. First and foremost, these little belt buckle area, no belt um, sleeves, right? There's only two here. So it's like quite concerning, especially for me. Jimbo got a big gut. I don't know if this could actually withstand Jimbo gut weight. So it might rip on it, but uh, you know, the redhead actually have four, has two in the back right here and two on the side. So that kind of helped distribute the, uh, the weight, but you know, just a little concerning, at least on Jimbo's uh, point of view. Uh, it feels definitely a lot heavier than my redhead one. Heavy duty, and it feels very warm. Um, we we'll get on my knees for a second. Oh yeah, there's good cushion right here, right on knee pads. And one more thing, the other thing I was uh, telling you guys about that I found is that there's a hidden pocket right here in the back. You put your important stuff it looks like there's a, a kit right here for you guys to help uh, seal any sort of cuts and holes in the future. So I'm gonna put that in my garage. But for right now, it goes in here, zip her up, boom. In regards to camera mounts, because I am a YouTuber, I create content on YouTube, right? This looks okay. I might have to put this a little higher. I guess I could put it around as well, but I don't know how these D loops gonna get in the way with that. I might put like a, something to help me unhook fish quicker. Some sort of hanging pliers. But I am not quite sure where I'm gonna put my um, my net. I guess I could put my net right here. So yeah guys, this is how I look. What do you guys think, huh? Fancy? So yeah guys, there you have it. The Jimbo unboxing of this bash, da bash, bass dash. <laughs> bass dash. <sighs> All right, I'm just gonna read it off slowly, okay guys? Jimbo's gonna do this, ready? The Bass Dash Bear Camel Neoprene Waders. Blech. But yeah, Bass Dash, thank you for sending this to me for review. Um, like I said, I was gonna give an honest review. I think it was a little pricey. Uh, at the time when I got these waders, which is in mid-December, it is $169.99 prime, so you don't need pay for shipping, but of course there's tax. But uh, at this price point, I think I've seen a few at uh, like Frog Togs, which is a, a more prop popular brand. Uh, I've seen a lot of Amazon brands out there and it's a lot significantly cheaper for Bass Pro Shops, uh, the Redhead. Now that's around the same price too. So if you guys are into um, 
you know, Bass Pro Shop Cabela's type brand, like Redhead. You know, this might be a comparable brand. It feels good so far, and uh, I have high hopes for it, other than two things. Obviously, it's the belt, because I'm a little concerned. Jimbo belly might be a little bit too big and heavy after winter. Who knows? And, you know, having extra weight to secure the belt is better than just two, right? So, uh, like I said before, I think that might put your weighters at risk for ripping. But, uh, Jimbo might be okay. Jimbo just needs to lay off the midnight snacks. And then two, I don't have a D-ring on my back like this guy right here, okay? That really helps me a lot when I put that um, trout net in the back. I always, you know, unplug the magnet and uh, scoop up my fish and then put it back when, I'm, when I don't need it. But I could actually do it on my belt, which I am actually afraid of because once again, there's only two places where this belt is being held together. I, uh. But anyways, I still think this overall thing is uh, pretty positive because it feels great, feels thick. It's gonna feel warm, especially in the winter time. Right now it's uh, 49 degrees out here doing this unboxing video, but it's definitely gonna get a lot colder. So for folks who uh, be in the water for a while or actually, you know, hunting in the woods, I mean, this camo looks pretty sick and sexy. I mean, I'll probably go over there and lay down. You guys probably can't even see me. So if you are interested in these waders, make sure you guys come back once in a while because Jimbo may release the final review of this product. But yeah, the overall unboxing review, I think it's a, it's a plus on my end. There's some cons, but you know, I think uh, overall, it'd be a great test video for Jimbo's YouTube channel. Bass Dash, thank you once again for these waders. Uh, look forward for my actual review in the near future. And for everyone else, the fish don't wait. Get out there, catch some fish. Seriously.